Hello and welcome to Simply Jan Homestead. Today we're going to do some doc. I, I, uh. Hello and welcome to Simply Jan Homestead. Today we're going to do some donkey tonk. Tonk. Talk. Hello and welcome to Simply Jan Homestead. Today we're going to have a donkey talk. And we're going to talk about the lambs. Come join us. So, let's talk donkeys. Let's talk about lambs. I have been doing some extensive research on a guardian donkey. And what I've found out is a lot of times guardian donkeys will do really, really good with your livestock. And then one day they could possibly kill them. Let's be honest. Our sheep were not cheap. Oh, that sort of rhymed. But they weren't cheap. And the last thing I want is our beautiful donkey, Toby, to feel threatened by food or territory and go after our lambs. And soon, in a few months, they'll be officially sheep. So, we have a pasture. I'm gonna turn you around, I'll be right back. So currently, let's straighten me up a little bit. Our donkey and our lambs, our lambs are in that shelter. But they need to graze, and they need to graze now. But Toby is still in this pasture as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm moving his food from over by the dog house. Stay with me here, folks. To this side of the fence, right in front of the chicken run. And that way the lambs can't get in there to his food and he can't get to theirs. Okay, why move the lambs and the donkey? Well, here's a few facts. Lambs cannot eat copper. Toby has a mineral substitute with copper in it. If they got a hold of that, it could kill them. And I'm not willing to take that risk. And Toby's got the pond over there. He's got all that acreage to just graze, which he is over there right now, just living his best life. And he'll still be able to guard the property against predators. Donkeys don't protect the herd. They protect territory. And this is an important thing to always keep in mind. They're going to protect their territory if a coyote comes in. And usually if a coyote comes in, y'all, it's coming in through the pond pasture. I got to get a chicken out of the garage. She's trying to eat all the cat food. Okay, I got her out. She's such a shyster. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm coming to get Toby's feeders and move them over to this pasture. I'll give them a teeny bit of grain, not even a maybe a eighth of a pound just to appease him because he's gonna see me and he'll come running because he loves me and I love Toby. So let's get started and let's get this going. And uh, then we're gonna let these lambs graze. I'm so excited about this, y'all. Okay, I've got the first I'm going to put the Now the minerals, it's a free feed. You know, when he wants to eat, he'll 
so the, if he needs minerals, he'll come over here and lick this. So. I'm giving him a little bit of grain. You have to be really careful about grain and their sweet feed because they will get too fat and then their neck gets fat and it'll fall over and it won't regain the elasticity. So let's go over to the gate and let's get that gate shut. Well, in my haste, I forgot to push the button. So I've, I've got it wired shut. One day we'll get a real gate here, but for now it's some uh, fencing we had, horse fencing. And um, I've got it pulled pretty tight, but I think I'm gonna tighten it a little bit more. Toby respects the fence. So I told, I'm pretty confident he won't try any shenanigans. Hi, buddy. How are you today? Hello, my buddy. Yes, my good boy. Hello. Hi, we're gonna give you a pasture all to yourself, Toby. What you think about that? Do you like that idea? Do you? Do you? Let's go show Toby where his food is. All right, Toby found his food and his minerals. And he's happy. So, we're gonna let him eat and enjoy that. And we're gonna go see the lambs. There was something else I wanted to tell you. That tree right there, you happy? Okay, good, good, Toby. We are building Toby a shelter under that tree or right in there. That's his two favorite spots to chill out. So that's what we're gonna do. And that way he'll have protection during the winter and the rains and you know, all the things. Because we're going to protect our boy. He's a good boy. Here we go. Let's get to those lambs. Okay, let's talk about feed. Donkeys should never eat lamb feed. Lambs should not eat donkey feed. Even though these lambs are extremely hardy and able to withstand so much, they cannot eat donkey feed. And Toby cannot eat lamb feed. So, I'm over here at the lamb shelter and I'm gonna turn you around. I gotta open the gate. I've gotta carabine it open so they can go in and out because their water is under the shelter. The task is to get these girls out. So, they're very skittish. But we're going to try and, I'm going to try and get them out, so bear with me. Come on, girl. Come on. One. Go with your sister. Whoa! She just jumped the fence. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, darling. This way. This way. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. You're going the wrong way. Turn around. That was awesome. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. I know your sisters are over there. They're waiting for you. She's trying to bust through the fence. They're like, come over here. Come over here. There you go. Good job. Oh, their first time on the pasture. Look at that. They're running over by Toby. That's too cute. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? 
How come you're over there? There's our neighbor's cows. Already starting to graze. Well, that was pretty easy. They're like, what's this? Wow, that's good. He's going to get some food, I suppose. If he hasn't eaten at all. Yeah, I suppose that's what he's going to do. So that's an awesome sight. I'm so glad that I could get them out on pasture because you don't want your lambs or your sheep um, eating off the dirt because it can cause them to get worms and uh, you want to provide that greenage and roughage for them besides the lamb starter feed, um, you know, so they're healthy. But there we go. We've got the lambs on pasture. We've got Toby separated and it's a good day on the homestead, y'all. This makes me so happy so so happy and they've got obviously a lot to eat down and that is yet another reason we have lambs and these three girls will produce our next generation of lambs next year after we get a, a ram and they are going to have some beautiful babies look at the cow he said hey who are you what's your name i wish i got a picture of the one lamb jumping over the door on the storm shelter and out the fence because they will jump so you know it's important that you always do a head count like johnny at gillum farm you have to count your livestock and i've got one two three lambs and one donkey and I, I gave up on the chickens. I forgot how many I have anyway. So thanks for coming along and uh, hope you learned something about donkeys and lambs and sheep and feeding them and protecting them. Um, you know, maybe one day we'll be able to open that gate and Toby can integrate with them fully. But right now, I don't have peace about it, but I knew they had to get out here on this grass. And um, it was just so important for me. And hopefully, you know, my whole, my whole goal was to have Toby in with the lambs, well, sheep when they got older. But um, it's been just short of a month and they ate down all the grass in their little fenced area. And I was like, that's not good. That's not good. And they're eating their food. They're drinking their water. They're doing all the things they're supposed to do. So anyway, y'all be blessed and love well. Bye now.